What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Recently announced by Sony, PlayStation Plus is going to be changing and basically what they're doing is they're combining PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now and there's going to be now three tiers of PlayStation Plus that you can subscribe to and I'm going to be breaking down each one and give my overall opinion of which one I'm likely going to go with moving forward after these changes are in place and what I think of it all. Let's get right into this. So as of June 2022, you are going to have three options for your PlayStation Plus subscription. And I just don't know how I feel about it. On one hand, what I have right now is just the PlayStation Plus, and it is great. It helps me not only play online, but I do get games each month. And I also do have PlayStation Now, which quite honestly, I don't play enough and I am going to be ending my subscription very soon. So the idea of having three tiers of PlayStation Plus and basically combining PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now into one thing with three different tiers, I think that is a great idea, but it's going to be interesting to see which one that I do pick based on what is going to be released for each tier. So let's just dive into it. Up first, there is going to be the PlayStation Plus Essential. Now what that is, is you're gonna get two monthly downloadable games just like you do for regular PlayStation Plus. You're gonna get exclusive discounts, cloud storage for your saved games, access to online multiplayer, and it is basically what PlayStation Plus is currently. That is what the essential place, the PlayStation Plus Essential Plan is going to be what currently is PlayStation Plus. So if you just want PlayStation Plus, it is going to be the essential. The PlayStation Plus Extra Plan is going to be obviously a little bit more money than the regular PlayStation Plus, and the new Essential Plan, which is what PlayStation Plus is going to be renamed to. Now this one here, the PlayStation Plus Extra is going to include all of the benefits from the previous tier, so what you get normally for PlayStation Plus, but it's also going to include a catalog of up to 400 PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games that you can play and are all downloadable, which is awesome. So unlike PlayStation Now, where a lot of the games you do have to stream, all of the ones moving forward on this for at least the PlayStation Plus Extra are going to be all downloadable. So you're going to have up to 400 games that you can download and play. And they're all going to be PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games. And that to me is going to be very interesting. And that is likely going to be the route that I am going to go moving forward. Probably let my PlayStation Now run out. But my PlayStation Plus, I'm probably going to upgrade it to the PlayStation Plus Extra. Which gives me access to the over 400 PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games. I just think that is a better value. Now what you're going to pay yearly is in the US, you're going to pay $100. And the if you don't know, the PlayStation Plus Essential, which is what PlayStation Plus is right now, is $59.99. So $60 compared to $100. So for $40 more, you get access to over 400 games for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. That's all downloadable. Now there is one more, the PlayStation Plus Premium Plan, which includes all of the benefits from the Essential and the Extra Plans. It adds up to 340 additional games, including PlayStation 3 games that you do have to stream, a catalog of PlayStation, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation Portable games, a few PlayStation Vita games that are comparable and you can play on your PlayStation as well, and other things as well. So you are going to also get with that limited time trial games. So that is what PlayStation Now currently has. Each month there is new games that are added that are basically a time trial. And what that means is they might add a new game, but you only have access for it for anywhere from two to four months. At the end of that time, whenever it does end, you have no longer access to that game. You can't play it anymore. You would have to go and purchase the game again to have access to your stats. You will on your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 save all of your progress, but to, in order to play that game again, you have to now purchase that game to continue where you left off in the game. So if you don't purchase that anymore, you will not be able to play the game. So to me, that's not really make or break because a lot of the games that are on time trial 
I am excited for, I download them, and then I end up not playing them until it runs out. So to me, that isn't of much value, and adding the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1 games is interesting. That one there is basically a combination of what PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now currently have. That is going to be the PlayStation Plus premium plan, which the price for that is $120 US, which again, if you pay for PlayStation Plus annually without any discounts, it's $60 a year. PlayStation Now is the same price. So you're basically combining the two. And the only new thing is the mid tier, which includes just the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games, which is about 400 games. And you get that for $100. So to me, I think PlayStation Plus Extra Plan is likely what I'm going to go with. It's to me is something that hopefully will be at a discount later this year. Hopefully Black Friday will be discounted. That's usually whenever I get my PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now subscriptions. The reason for that is because usually you get them on for 50% off. So if I could go, not necessarily thinking that it's going to be 50% off, but if they do have the PlayStation Plus extra plan and it is, let's say, 50% off, that's $50 compared to $100. That is a great deal, and for me personally, I don't need the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 1 games that are included on PlayStation Now. Most of those I don't even play. Most of what I play on PlayStation Now is the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games, and occasionally the time trial games, which just missing out on those to me isn't a huge loss because I do get the benefits of getting the 400 PlayStation 4 games. So I'm gonna have to see, I'm gonna wait to make my final decision of which one I'm gonna go with. I hopefully, uh, Sony is going to announce the full list of the 400 games that's gonna be included for the mid-tier one, and then I hope that'll help me determine whether or not I want it, because if it's a lot of either A, sports games, games that I don't play, or games that I already have, it's not worth getting, and at that point, I'm just gonna stick with the PlayStation Plus Essential, which is just strictly PlayStation Plus. Now, the one thing I find is interesting with the Essential plan, is moving forward, it's only gonna be two free games a month, which occasionally we would have a month that would have really good games, and then other months that would be really crappy games, so you might get three to four games that month, or usually you'd get two PlayStation 4 games and one PlayStation 5 games, with the essential plan, is it going to be two games for the PlayStation 4, or if you have a PlayStation 5, two games for the PlayStation 5, or is it gonna be one and one? That's going to be interesting to see what they do there as well. But this concept does seem interesting. I think it is time that they do this. Then another reason that I don't think I'm going to go with the premium plan is because the PlayStation 3, 2, and 1 games, you have to stream, and I usually don't stream them. I don't even bother. So having the 400 downloadable games is probably where I'm going to be at. So I'm likely going to have my PlayStation now currently run out. At the end of the year when my PlayStation Plus runs out or is about to run out, I'll probably purchase the PlayStation Plus Extra Plan, but I do want to hear what you guys think of all three tiers. Which one are you likely going to go with? And are you excited about these changes or do you honestly not care or do you honestly just hate them? Let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.